What's up guys, CarVision LA here. I hope you all are having a fantastic day. If you're new here, welcome. Thank you so much for taking the time to check out this video. I'd love to have you hit that subscribe button and join the CarVision LA crew, one of the coolest and fastest growing automotive communities here on YouTube. Anyway, in today's video, I'm gonna be answering a question that I get asked a lot. How do you drive manual on the freeway? Now, a lot of people think this is really hard because uh, driving manual takes some skill and um, takes a little bit of time to learn. But today I'm going to show you that it's so easy and I'll give you a step-by-step -step guide on how to do it. So there are three stages of driving on the freeway. There's entering, there's cruising, and there's exiting. Right now I'm going to show you how to enter the freeway. and. Uh, spoiler alert, it's basically as easy as driving an automatic car. Uh, start from first gear, of course, then shift to second gear when the time's right, then shift to third gear, then shift to fourth gear, and then fifth, and when you're at the right speed, sixth gear. It's as easy and as simple as that. There's really nothing more to getting on the freeway in a stick shift car uh, than using your basic shifting skills, using your basic manual driving skills, and um, getting on the freeway. That's as easy as that. So there's no reason why anyone should be scared of driving freeway, uh, driving a stick shift on the freeway. Yeah, you're going faster, but it's actually a lot easier because you don't have to worry about hill starts, you don't have to worry about launching the car in traffic, unless there's traffic on the freeway, but I mean, on surface streets. But um, there's a lot less you have to worry about if the freeway is moving smoothly. When you're cruising on the freeway in a stick shift car, I'm gonna be completely blunt with you, it's just like driving an automatic. It's as simple as that. Uh, you just leave the car in the tallest gear and uh, drive. Um, you enter the freeway like how I just showed you by going through all the gears, one, two, three, four, five, six, depending on how many speeds your car has. This particular vehicle has six gears. When you wanna pass someone on the freeway, however, it is a little bit different, but still incredibly easy. Now, uh, in your automatic car, when you wanna pass them on the freeway, you're in drive, uh, you need power to pass them, you just press on the accelerator uh, or put it in manual mode. The car will downshift automatically, uh, give you the power you need, and then you just press the accelerator and boom, you pass the person. In a manual transmission car, it is a little bit different because you have to do it yourself. So right now I'm in sixth gear, I wanna pass this person. So all I do is downshift to fifth, downshift to fourth. I like downshifting to fourth because it's less lag on the engine, it's better for the engine. You get more power, you press the gas, pass whoever's going slow, and shift into fifth and then sixth. Easy as that. Of course, you have to have a basic understanding of how to rev match, how to downshift properly, but um, when you start driving stick shift on the freeway, uh, you should already have those skills down pat. Driving stick shift on the freeway is incredibly easy for those who know how to drive manual transmission. If you are just learning manual transmission, then I would recommend mastering it on local roads. That's actually harder than experimenting manual transmission on the freeway. You will pick it up instantly. When you are cruising on the freeway, I recommend being in one of the upper three gears, fourth, fifth, or sixth, unless you're in traffic and going slower, if you're going 30 to 40 miles an hour, then uh, put it in three. If you're going less than 20 miles an hour, put it in two. Uh, you don't wanna be in a lower gear a lot when you're cruising at high speeds. Um, it kinda overruns the engine, it wastes gas, uh, the car drones. Uh, it's just not great for the car and uh, you know it's more money out of your pocket because uh, that's more money you're spending on gas the engine's rotating quicker um, because lower gears are lighter. I'm not going to get into the technicalities of how transmissions work but um, that's uh, a gist of why it will um, use more gas. Uh, right now I'm cruising normally at, at uh, 55, 60 miles an hour. I'm in fifth gear. I just uh, sped up and uh, now I'm in sixth gear. So use your judgment and uh, depending on the conditions then um, that's what gear you should decide to be in. Now when you are in traffic uh, use your basic stick shift skills when you're starting and stopping. You engage the clutch in first gear, uh, let the clutch out, give it gas and uh, when the traffic comes to a stop you press the clutch in, press the brake and put it back into neutral. It's as simple as that. Just think about driving in the city and uh, doing regular starts, um, launches, and uh, basically apply that to freeway traffic and you're set. 
there's really no special way in um, trying to go about this. When you drive the same car over and over again, you kind of get a feel for the clutch. So then you can uh, devise some shortcuts on driving stick shift in traffic on the freeway, uh, like I have driving this GTI for the last year and a half. But it depends on the car, depends on the clutch, and just depends on the way you drive stick shift. Word of warning guys, you never ever want to accelerate and try to pass someone when you're sitting in top gear. That's fifth, sixth, or even seventh if you have a seven speed manual transmission vehicle. Uh, that really is bad for the engine because uh, the engine has to work extra hard to turn those taller gears which are heavier. It lugs the engine, it just, and you will not get much power at all. You can really, if you try, you can really feel the car working hard and you don't want that for your car. It really produces excess strain. Now, when you're getting off the freeway, it's just like the opposite of getting off. Downshift to fifth, then downshift to fourth, then third, then I like to just throw it in neutral and coast to a stop. You can downshift to second gear, but um, the car will kind of lurch for it unless you're really, really good at rev matching. So um, I just like to throw it in neutral after third gear and then you should have no problem. Well guys, that's gonna do it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it informative. If you did, please be sure to give me a big old thumbs up to show me that you learned something and subscribe to the channel for new weekly automotive reviews, news, and how-tos that you can use and to join the Car Vision LA crew, one of the coolest and fastest growing automotive communities here on YouTube. Come on, it's free, what are you waiting for? Also, don't forget to follow us on Instagram at Car Vision LA for news updates, exclusive content, and giveaway notifications. I'll see you all in the next video. Peace out.